so many people join the military saying to themselves that they're going to do the full 20 years. You get out of training and it was pretty fun and you decide then and there that you're in it for the long haul. I can do this. But then three years hits and you realize I don't want to do this anymore. The truth is that less than 20% of people who join the military end up staying in for that full 20 years of service. So your best bet is to come in with the intention of setting yourself up financially as though you're going to end up being one of those over 80% of people who end up getting out before they reach retirement eligibility. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use your thrift savings plan or TSP in just one active duty enlistment period to best set your future self up for financial independence. So let's get to it. What's up everybody, I'm Ashley Noel. On this channel, we talk about military lifestyles, leadership tips, and tips for living and working abroad. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. If you've joined since January 2018, then you were automatically enrolled into the blended retirement system. If you joined prior to 2018, you had the option to opt into the blended retirement system. The BRS is the Department of Defense's retirement system, and there are three parts to it. The military pension that you receive after 20 years of service Service, a continuation pay bonus that you're eligible for after 12 years of service if you choose to re-enlist for an additional term, and the funds that you've invested into the thrift savings plan throughout the entirety of your service. Really quickly, what is the thrift savings plan? The TSP is separate from the military pension. You only get the military pension portion if you've served that full 20 years of service to be eligible for military retirement, but the TSP invests money into a handful of investment funds, and after you've served for two years, that money in your TSP is yours to keep regardless of how long you serve. So the TSP is similar to a civilian 401k. The blended retirement system offers a government match of up to 5%. So this means that if you contribute 5% of your base pay into your thrift savings plan, the government will match that with another 5%. And that extra 5% that the government puts in is free to you. So that ends up being 10% of your base pay being contributed to your TSP with you only paying for 5% of it. So don't miss out on that free money. Put in at least 5%. Note on this, I'm not going to get heavy into Roth TSP versus traditional TSP in this video, but know that the government's 5% contribution will be put into the traditional TSP, even if you're putting your 5% into the Roth TSP. This happens because that 5% that they're putting in is free to you, so you're not paying taxes on it now, but you'll end up paying taxes on traditional TSP amounts later on when you go to pull them out. So just an FYI. So what's the best way I can use the TSP to set me up for future financial security, even if I only plan on staying in for one enlistment period? Since everyone's financial situation is different, I'm going to show you how to do this using the TSP's calculator so you can tailor the amounts to your own situation. If you go to the TSP website, you'll find several different calculators, but this one will show you how much your savings will grow over time. So we're going to set this to Uniform Service BRS, Blended Retirement System, and then we're going to pretend like you just joined this week. So we're going to go for future contributions. Your service so far, you just joined, so you have zero years. Let's say you joined this past Saturday. The number of years that you plan to contribute, we're going to say six year because a standard enlistment is six years. What's that going to be? I'm going to pull up the military pay chart from the DFAS website. Since you're an E1 with less than two years, then you're going to be making $1,785 per month. So multiply that by 12 and you get $21,420 per year. Let's look at what happens if you just put in 5% over those six years. For the percentage of your expected annual pay increase, the military usually gets about 2 to 3% pay increase with each passage of the National Defense Authorization Act. So every January we get usually a 2 to 3% bump in pay. So let's go ahead and put two here. For account contributions, we're going to imagine that you're going to start pulling out this money when you're 60 years old. So let's, for this hypothetical, pretend that you are 20 years old now. So let's put in 40 here. Expected annual rate of return. Let's pretend that because you know that you're only doing this for six years, you're going really aggressive with your investment strategy and you end up getting a 10% annual rate of return. 
Now let's see what our results would be. So after 40 years, you end up with $388,765 in that TSP account. For this hypo, we're going to follow that old school traditional 4% rule, which says that you should expect to take out 4% of your savings each year of retirement. So that means that for this amount, we'll be taking out $15,550 every year. Divide that by 12, and that gives us $1,295 per month. You're probably thinking to yourself, Ash, what type of lifestyle are you setting me up for? I can't live comfortably off of $12.95 a month. Listen, I'm aware. Keep in mind that this entire calculation was set up with you only contributing 5% of your base pay and thereby getting that full 5% match from the government and you making E1 pay for the entire six year enlistment. That's not going to happen, God willing. But let's see how this hypo changes if we pretend that you are still that same six year E1 who never gets a pay raise for time and service, but this time instead of contributing 5% per year, now you're gonna contribute 10% per year. Let's see how that changes your amount. So contributing 10% per year, now all of a sudden you get $619,451 in your TSP account after four years. So again, with that 4% rule, that means that you're taking out $24,778 per year, which is $2,064 per month. But again, that's with an E1 salary for that entire six years, which isn't gonna be the case for you. You'll make more money as you progress in rank and more money still as you progress in time and service. God willing. What if you're thinking, Ash, this is all well and good, but I'm two years in and I'm an E3 by now. That's fine too. It's better to start late than to never start putting money into your TSP at all. So my advice is to use this calculator and see what this looks like for you. Actually, let's just go ahead and do this real quick. All right, so you're an E3 with two years already in. So that means that your base pay is going to be $2,236. If you already have some money invested into your TSP, then you can click on this both radio dial. So that way you can see what your amount will be with that existing account balance calculated as well as any future contributions that you make. So we're going to go ahead and click on that both button for this hypo. The number of years that you've been in, you've already been in for two years. And so we're going to set your date of initial entry into military service as September 10th, 2019. Typically, when you come in, the default on the paperwork that they give you when you're opening up your account sets your TSP contribution at 3%. So we're just going to pretend in this hypo that you left that as is and you've been contributing 3% this whole time. And so with that, the government would have matched your 3% and they would have given you an additional 3%, which would have been free to you. You plan to contribute for four more years to close out your six year enlistment. Your annual pay is $26,832 per year. And let's say that you want to put in 10% of your base pay. We're gonna keep this at a 2% pay increase. The reason that happens, I didn't really explain it before, it's because of inflation. That's why we get the two to 3% boost each year with the National Defense Authorization Act. You're still 20 years old in our hypothetical, so we're gonna keep this at 40. And because you're doing this for even less time, you're going as aggressive as you possibly can, so we're gonna keep this expected rate of return at 10%. So after 40 years, your contribution has grown to $747,132. There is hope for you yet, even though you were late to the party. Again, pulling out 4% per year, It means you're pulling out $29,885 per year, which becomes $2,490 per month. Again, these calculations are based off of active duty service. And sure, this may not be as much as you would like to live off of, especially if you have dependents to support or if you're still paying on a mortgage or if you have rent. 
But keep in mind that once you leave the military, you'll probably get another job and work there for a while, building up a retirement there and even more investments for your future. So if anything, this little nest egg that you're building with your TSP can be used to sort of supplement your primary retirement income. I'll leave links to the TSP calculator and the 2021 military pay table in the description box below. Feel free to use the calculator to input your own information in there to see if you're where you want to be with regards to saving for your future and i used the five percent and ten percent contributions as examples because those are the numbers that are so frequently mentioned as suggested savings amounts but really the maximum that you can put towards your tsp each year is currently set at nineteen thousand five hundred dollars so put in as much as you can because that compound interest that will apply to your savings over time will do amazing things for your money so certainly work within your means but but especially if you are single and you don't have any major debt to pay off, contribute as much as you're able to each month towards that TSP. And if that means that you're able to put in 20% or even 25%, then wonderful because you're still going to be getting that extra 5% match from the government. So that'll give you even more. If you like this video, if you learned something new, please make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. It is completely free to you and it does actually help the channel and lets me know that the information that I'm providing is actually useful. If there's any military specific topic that that you would like for me to talk about then please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and i'll answer whatever question that i can i do appreciate your time i thank you for being here and i'll see you